Tonight on an inevitable Mac to the Future live cast, go. I went someplace and bought something. Anyone want to guess what it was? It's probably not that hard to figure out. Hello, everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome to uh, kind of an unplanned Mac to the Future. I, I I don't really have an agenda. It's just that some stuff happened today, and I was like, you know, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've been on here. So I figured I would just drop by and say hi. Hi there. How you doing? So a um, couple things. Number one, I was tempted very very sorely tempted by the mac studio um not the not the m1 ultra version for four thousand dollars because i i (laughs) couldn't couldn't get that and and expect to stay married uh but the 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 m1 max model which i would have bumped to 64 gigs of ram and at least one to two terabytes of storage that was that was quite a temptation. Uh, but I did resist it because honestly, the M1 Mac Mini is it's killing it. It's it's a it's a great great machine. Ooh, a comment, a comment already. I wonder what they have to say. Marcus says okay. So the other thing that I bought was. I, I went to Alibaba, which is a Chinese site for buying stuff. And I got a um, small PC running Windows, naturally, to game with. And it's it's not a bad little machine. It's got, uh, I bumped it up to 32 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's got a one terabyte internal drive SSD uh, with the ability to put another drive in. And it has a uh, internal, I think it's a GTX 1600 um, graphics card with four gigs. So it, it, it does okay. You know, I mean, it's it's not a screaming gaming machine by any stretch of the means, but for the games I play, it's fine. However, I had a problem in that uh, I didn't have a decent USB keyboard to plug into this machine. I didn't want to get another Bluetooth keyboard because I'm already using the Bluetooth keyboard that I have for the two different, uh, for the M1 Mac mini that I have. And, and up until the time that I took it out, the, the Intel Mac mini that I had. So I wanted to get a wired USB PC keyboard. And the first one I got, you know, it's, it's a monster. I'll show it to you. <laughs> this was the first one I got. I don't know how well this is going to turn up. I don't really have enough. It's The cable on it was really small. I can't pull it all the way out. And it's it's not a bad keyboard, except it doesn't work with, with this computer for whatever reason. It works great with the Mac. So I may disconnect the wired wireless keyboard that I have with the Mac and I'll I'll use this one, this other keyboard that I bought for the PC that doesn't work with the PC, but it works with the Mac. So I'll use it with the Mac instead. And it's got the RGBs. So it, it, uh, it like shines in different colors and all kinds of silly crap. But the other thing that I wanted from a keyboard, let's see. AliExpress is the U.S. version of Alibaba. I get three. Yeah, it all does come from China. And um, 
I, I think I went to, oh, I can't remember now. I'll, I'll have to go and look whether it was AliExpress or Alibaba. You're right. It all comes from China. And um, so I, I wanted the, I had to get another, didn't have to, but I'm, I was going to get another USB keyboard. What I wanted though, was one that had a built-in USB hub so I could connect the mouse up to it too. So I wouldn't have to, you know, move two USB cables to this, to this windows PC. And they're not easy to find anymore. I mean, you have to really look for a decent one that isn't just trash. Everything is pretty much wireless these days. And I looked online and I saw one that I kind of liked on Amazon, but I decided that before I was going to get it from Amazon, that I would go out to micro center, which is a local store here in uh, Northern Virginia. They have some other stores in other areas, but the one they have here is, is, is very nice. So I go out there uh, today and I, I talking, you know, talking to one of the helper helper guys and uh, I got a, a USB wired keyboard that has a USB hub so that I can attach, see if I can bring this up. No, no, not that one. Where is it? There's a, oh no, that is it. This, this, this mouse. <laughs> it, it's colorful. It's got colors. So that's a wired mouse. So I'm going to connect up a wired USB keyboard and a wired USB mouse to the PC that I bought for gaming. Unfortunately, there is another thing that Micro Center has, and they have an abundance, and that's audio gear. They have some audio gear. And I went ahead and bought a new microphone. Not a big surprise. The Audio Technica AT 2020. I had the 20, you know, the 3035 that I got off eBay because they don't make the 30 series anymore. But I didn't really need another microphone. I don't need any more microphones, but I always wanted an AT2020. So I got one. And to make things even worse, the microphone that I'm using right now is not the microphone that I have been using for the last four weeks with Gaz at the MyMac podcast. It's another Audio Technica microphone. It's the AT2040, which is their one of their uh, broadcast dynamic mics. So that's that one right there. So yeah, I bought another bought another broadcast dynamic mic that I, I don't need. I still have the Lewitt 440, you know, LCT 440 pure, which is just a wonderful, wonderful microphone. Along with the box of other microphones that I have back there. Now, one of the other things that um, I'm going to get pretty soon is a cabinet so that I can start rearranging all of the out of focus stuff that's behind me right now, because this camera has great bokeh. It really, really does. Beautiful bokeh. I love this camera. So over the next uh, couple of weeks, I'll be testing out not only this microphone right here, the AT2040 Broadcast Dynamic, but this as well, the Audio-Technica AT2020 Condenser Microphone because reasons. So uh, that's that's really all I got. I've, I'm going to start taking some stuff apart here, put the new keyboard on. And um, I'm not allowed to go upstairs right now because I, I came home, I was coughing a little bit. And now my wife is all freaked out and paranoid. <laughs> she said, oh, you might have COVID. So tomorrow morning, um, if I'm not feeling any better, we'll, um, we'll go ahead and do the, what we have one of the home test kits. We'll use a home test kit and make sure that I'm okay. Uh, but since I'm going to be down here tonight anyway, I may as well go ahead and hook up the keyboard and uh, just 
do a little bit of PC gaming, have a little bit of fun. And that is, that is going to do it. So <laughs> yeah, I, my new year's resolution is just shot to hell. You know, it was like no more microphones this year. It's like, yeah, I knew that was going to be a big fail. So if you want to get a hold of me, uh, you can send me an email guy at my Mac.com or podcast at vert shark.com. You can also find me on the Twitters. I am Mac parrot and vert shark over there on the Twitters. Uh, of course I do the my Mac dot com podcast with gaz every single week and two to three days a week i do guys daily drive where i drive in a car and talk it's kind of what i did today There's not a new one out yet i haven't processed it yet but i will i will probably i'll have time to do it tonight so i think um i think that is going to do it thank you all for watching and or joining me you are welcome to send me any Feedback giving me a hard time because I just cannot keep cannot keep a um, a resolution regarding microphones to save my life. Can't do it. So we will see you all next time, and who knows? Maybe I'll even start this whole thing back up again. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>